Hi everyone. Um, I'm just making this video because I wanted to help out some moms and show how I deal with cradle cap. I treated his head last week and it hasn't come back. I was kind of hoping that it would come back so that I could show you um, how I do it and show you the results. But he does have some on his eyebrows. It's just a little bit, but um, I do like to kind of just keep everything clean for my babies. This is my third baby and all three of my babies have had it. Um, so what you do is you start out with putting just a small amount of coconut oil on the area. So um, you would put just, just a little bit of coconut oil, enough to get into the scalp, and you just massage it in really well. And then you wait about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to his eyebrows, and then I'll show you the next step. So honestly, about this much for eyebrows is probably more than enough. Uh, maybe even too much and then you just put a little bit more on the scalp I would honestly start with less and then add more because it melts and it's gonna get everywhere so just a teensy bit and then here let's go ahead oops sorry this is hard to do and record there <laughs> on the eyebrows just kind of rub it in I don't think you have to massage it in too too great just kind of rub it in a little bit and then let it sit there um, it'll soak into the skin so we'll be back in 30 minutes all right so here we are back um, it's been a little over 30 minutes and I just wanted to show you this all the supplies that you need um, so starting off with the coconut oil, you're going to put that on first. Um, you're going to need a mild baby shampoo and lotion, um, a fine tooth comb. I'm just using kind of a men's fine tooth comb. I use a baby's hairbrush and then a washcloth. And that's just for the eyebrows so that I'm not pouring water directly over his eyebrows. I wouldn't use this um, to rinse if I was doing his hair, I'd just use like a cup or a pitcher or something like that. So um, he's had the coconut oil sitting on his eyebrows for a while now. And then I just put him in here so that he can, um, so I can hold the camera. Usually I'd hold him, but you want to just, <laughs> now this is really hard to do on the eyebrows because there's such a small area it's much easier to do on the scalp but you just want to gently brush over I'm sorry this is not focusing very good to be honest my phone camera is not good at all it's scratched up um, he does have some in the middle here so I just scrape over here and I'm not pushing like hardly at all so you just want to be really careful because obviously their skin is really sensitive. And he wiggles a lot too. <laughs> so the eyebrows, they're really hard. Really hard area to do. Um, and then with the baby brush, you just want to go in and kind of rub it around. Basically what you're doing is you're loosening the skin. You're loosening kind of the... Um, dry flaky skin so that and then you want to take and put just a small little dab of your baby shampoo again I'm just using the Aveeno just because this is really gentle on him um, it's tear free so if you get it in his eyes it's okay again I don't want to do that course and then just kind of brush around it's much much easier on the scalp he has some in between his eyebrows as well so do that and if I was doing his scalp I would really just like scrub in circles, scrub all over. You can do it a little bit harder with these because these are really, really soft. You probably won't hurt them. 
Just don't, you know, use all your power. They're just a little soft baby. Um, so you just kind of rub around, loosen everything up. And then you can take and rinse that off. I'm just going to use the washcloth. I'm kind of worried I'm not going to get all of it rinsed off doing it this way. So I really recommend doing their scalp and just hold your hands over their eyes and rinse it off. It's really easy that way. I'm just using a little bucket right next to him um, like that. Rinse that. <laughs> He's a very good baby. And he'll pretty much let me do whatever I want with him. I just wash it off. Okay, and this part, I take some of the lotion here. Just use a baby's lotion, unscented. And basically, I'm just using this as like a conditioner. So this is going to keep their scalp and skin really soft. And it helps it from becoming flaky and dry. So just put that on there. And if you want, you can rinse this off. Um, he has really long hair, so if I didn't rinse off the lotion, it would be... It would look really greasy and like slicked back and everything. So I'll just rinse it off a little bit. The eyebrows I don't think really matter if they look kind of slicked and everything. Um, but yeah, his hair. His hair looks nice and fluffy because he just got a bath last night. But there it is. And that's how you take care of Cradle Cap. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do it on his actual scalp, but maybe it'll come back and I'll do another video that will show exactly how to do it on his scalp. Bye-bye.